morning. Welcome to another episode of OA Ako the Tele Magazine, and we're so blessed that we're here now in Cebu with another super co-hosting with us, si King Cabalias. Oh, I'm Buntag Pilipinas. But we're also here to visit one of our fellow sopers. Oh, si Architect Daryl. Just like the name of her office, Dream Architects. Um, she talks about being involved with green architecture. So we're now here to know what that is all about. Ta -da! Look, wow, this is so awesome. Living, living plants, di ba? Yung ibang organic stores, at saka shops, they use plastic decor. Pero now as a consumer, I feel na bakit, why should shops use that? It's very ironic. Itong maganda, living plants, di ba? Bakit may colored bulbs, di ba? Ang daming kulay. Ano kaya, ano kaya? I'm sure may explanation. Ano kaya, ano kaya? Wait, 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 let's ask. Hello, good morning! Good morning! Welcome to Dream Architects! Alam mo, architect, paki-explain, bakit ka may colored lights? Um, kasi um, the red, yellow, and blue lights um, simulate the sunlight. Para para pa din siyang nasa outdoor. Yeah. It simulates the uh, para sunlight. Para spectrum ng light. Uh, it has sunlight. to be present for it to simulate sunlight. Ah, pinag-isipan yun. But it's uh -huh. not surprising kasi naalala mo, she practices vertical gardening sa bahay nila. But this is indoor. Exactly. Oh, pa paano to? Hindi na lumalabas? Hindi po siya lumalabas. Actually, we want to show that it's possible to have a garden inside an office or wherever in a very small space. The light simulates the sunlight tapos the big mirror is not just for makeup <laughs> um it magnifies or multiplies the sunlight oh, from the okay. from the different colored lights. kaya nabubuhay siya kaya nabubuhay siya oo ganda nga eh. anong maintenance naman nito pag ganito um usually when water naman siya from the top mga twice a week lang naman tapos kinukuha yung mga dead ng mga leaves Galing! Ang kakaganda pa! Yung lahat pa na ano ng mga variety ng plants pwede gawin sa... Pwede um, natin actually, ito. we tried several plants na, but these are the plants that thrive indoor. Tapos, um, each plant we selected because of their um, capability to cleanse the air, like formaldehyde. Some plants clean the toxins from the paints and, of course, it, we also produce our own oxygen because it's better working na parang fresh yung air. And I'm sure because of yung ganyang mga prinsipyo mo, ina-apply mo din sa trabaho as in, in your designs, no? Yes. Diba? Um, She's known as a green architect. Yes. So we will find out what that is all about. Yes. Sige po, okay. explain ko po sa inyo. Okay. Yan. Can we enter? Yes po, pasok po kayo. Oh, Daryl, ang dami mga pictures dito. Ano ba ito, mga projects niyo? Um, oo, ito yung mga projects namin. Kanina, we speak about uh, green architecture. Mm -hmm. Could you kindly elaborate to us uh, what is green architecture? Um, actually, in our projects, we want to um, stress out that green, green architecture does not necessarily mean it has to be high-tech and all. Mm -hmm. um, we want to show, even on small houses or on resorts, that it can be green by using green design principles that are um, innovative, using um, indigenous materials that it's well ventilated, so you won't have to use so much um, electricity and um, we lessen the impact to the environment. Uh, so yun talaga yung gist ng... Ano ba yung, yung specific kaya example ng ano? Uh, para matatawag natin na green architecture okay. yung ginagamit natin? For example, we have a project in Coron. Um, it has an existing tree. Kasi in Coron, Palawan, um, di ba cashew nuts yung parang delicacy doon? So we want to preserve yung cashew cashew trees on the side. So we designed the buildings in such a way that it does not only um, veer away from the trees, it also highlights and parang promotes and focuses on the beauty of nature. Ito naman, sa Palawan pa din, um, those are water villas. Um, uh, since it's on a remote island, it does not have electricity. So we designed it in such a way that during the day, um, well ventilated, siya well lighted. Tapos all the sewage will have to go to the sewage treatment before it gets recycled to the landscaping. Oh, okay. So um, we want to um, show in our little ways we can um, help the environment. Actually, green architecture is not just for like 
um, for the users or for the owners to feel that our building is green. It also, um, number one, it, it helps the environment, which as of now, kailangan talaga ng tulong. Yes. Oh. Pero architect dali, kasi yan, yung mga pinakita mo, medyo malalaki ang scope. Uh -oh. Ito, ito parang ano eh, parang mas maliit, parang mas doable, livable. Yeah, green architecture din ba? Uh, yes po. Um, that one is uh, God's Grace Eco Farm. Nasa Cebu yung location niya. Um, it's a farmhouse. Um, it's designed to be parang weekend house ng, um, ng, ng owners. Tapos dyan na din yung parang seeding preparation areas. Um, yung features naman niya, nakalover, open type siya lahat yung living areas niya. Tapos yung root niya are sloped in such a way na we are able to maximize the collection of rainwater. Tapos instead of just a rainwater tank that's not usable, it goes to the pond na surrounding the, the whole complex. It also acts as a pond na nag-grow din sila ng edible fishes. Tapos yung, ano, yung water niya from the pond is very good as aquaponic medium or pang water dun sa plants ng farm. Paano na pala yung mga ibang hindi nakakaintindi masyado about this, yung mga clients mo na may mga specific designs? First, ginagawa namin, we explain it to them, the benefits, and they're able to understand the na, oh, I don't really have to be kana na uh, super super rich or super big budget for it to be achieved kasi um, yung bahay kubo concept pa lang of our Filipino architecture is already green. Mm. Talaga? Pero how I wish, di ba, yung mga subdivisions natin ngayon, medyo ma-incorporate din yung mga ganyan. Meron na ba kayong ganong mga projects? Uh, yes po. Um, most of, 80% uh, of our projects are subdivisions. We make it a point to incorporate green building design principles like wide eaves para hindi siya masyadong mainit. Tapos yung mga eaves niya, nakalovers para makabreathe at makalabas yung hot air. Tapos, um, rainwater collection is very important kasi di ba may water shortage na tayo. And rainwater is very good as hindi lang pang water ng plants, pwede din siyang pang shower, pang wash. Um, we also designed it in such a way na um, we lessen the building footprint, meaning less yung disturbance dun sa natural grade and contours ng soil. Tapos, um, we also make sure that all our sewage goes into a treatment plant or a septic tank so it gets recycled. Sometimes it goes into a sewage garden. Yung filtration niya ay through the roots ng plants. Okay. So, sa costing, whether low cost or medyo higher ang cost, pwede pa rin mag-incorporate ng green architecture? If it's low cost, the more you have to incorporate it because like for example, for the middle end ng mga users, Kasi hindi naman sila mag aircon So, dapat maliwalas at mahangin pa din dun sa loob. Mm, since you mentioned low cost, what is low cost now? Mga more or less, ano ang price range? Mga less than a million siguro to build. Magkano in terms of square meters? For a low cost, siguro mga 10 to 15,000 per square meter to build. Okay, a medium price? Medium price would be around 20, 25. Oh, medium na pala yun ngayon. Pero still, kasi long-term benefits tinitignan oh, mo dito, no? In the long run, marami kang masisave kasi yung air conditioning pa lang yung ano? Are lower, your yeah. lighting is lower, yes. and your sense of well-being and health is also um, protected kasi um, the air you breathe, pag masyado siyang closed and congested, yung toxins inside the, no, the na house, o, na nag, hindi na circulate or nalalabas, na accumulate mo sa body mo para kang nagiging sponge of all the toxins inside. Yun na nga yung sinasabi mo, green architecture, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Oo, oh, oh, yung hindi naman talaga siya a particular type of mm -hmm. architecture. Oo, oh, kasi kahit na anong architectural type, you can incorporate the principles when you design it. Matagal ka na bang uh, ganun ka socially and environmentally aware? Paano ba nagsimula ito? How did you decide to make this the concept of your um, architectural firm. Of course, architects build buildings and I feel that we also need to like minimize our impact on the environment but also addressing kung ano yung gusto ng clients. So parang when we design, we design it in such a way na it fits the budget or the concept of the clients I like and it's environment friendly. Actually, it's not just architecture. Lahat tayo, we have to take have our part to, uh, in oh, garbage yeah. segregation, in conserving the environment in putting as much plants as possible in every nook and cranny kasi that produces as oxygen is. And it's not just oxygen, it also feeds our body. As usual, 
please join us on Facebook that Spread Organic Agriculture in the Philippines. And please join us next week again for the episodes of Oe Ako, the Telemagazine. Oe Ako!